Need to keep your team engaged and projects on schedule? We've created a project plan template that has everything you need to organize, coordinate, manage, and plan your next project. Our template includes a project charter, triage matrices, risk dashboard, as well as visualizations to track your progress, either with Kanban or the Agile Project Management Framework. No matter your management style and project plan layout preferences, this template can be downloaded and is fully customizable to your needs. Let's now review how to use this spreadsheet. Begin with the Fields tab, where the important fields are organized according to what tabs reference them. Under Kanban, define the priority and stages that your project will reference. Under Charter, list the team members and the levels of interest and influence they will be assessed by. Under Risk, define the levels of likelihood and severity your organization uses, which also appear down below in the Risk Matrix. And under Triage, the levels of urgency and importance as well as impact and effort used in the Triage Matrixes can be customized. The project charter lets product managers add all the specific details related to this project's scope, leadership, budget, constraints, milestones, and deadlines. Below the project charter, the project stakeholder register lists all the relevant roles, their contact information, whether they're internal or external, their level of interest and influence in the project, and any specific expectations or communication requirements. Did you know that PMs spend 90% of their time communicating? However, 47% of teams called meetings their number one time waster, so take their preferred communication requirements seriously. At the bottom, the project budget calculations include the total cost, planned and actual cost, remaining budget, and percent used to date. These calculations get their data from the task list. On the task list, enter all the tasks that make up a given project. Begin with the overall task inputs, including a custom ID, the task title, responsible team members, and work progress bars. These progress bars are editable, so PMs can track work progress as it's completed in real time. Next, enter the start date, due date, and final finish date. The Kanban and Agile sections are optional fields used to visualize your project planning timeline. Now, enter financials for each task. These include the baseline cost, which is the expected fair market value for the task, the planned budget, or the amount of money set aside for this task, the actual cost, or the amount of budget spent to date, and remaining budget, or the amount of money from your planned budget remaining. This is calculated by subtracting the actual cost from the planned budget, and if it's negative, that means you've gone over budget. The used percent is calculated automatically by dividing the actual cost by the planned budget, and the linear forecasted cost divides the actual cost by the work progress percentage to determine what the overall project is likely to cost. The financial data for all tasks are summed to define the overall project budget, these fields are meant to be updated in real time as the project progresses. For every $1 billion invested in the United States, $122 million was wasted due to lacking project performance, so make sure to keep your task list up to date so your overall project budget is up to date too. Last, you can define any risk associated with the task and the levels of importance, urgency, impact to the overall project, and effort required to pull it off. These inputs allow all stakeholders to gauge potential risk areas to plan around and triage tasks based on their importance and impact. Don't forget, you can download and customize this project plan template right now. To triage tasks, first use an action priority matrix to analyze the impact of a task versus the effort required. The Eisenhower matrix classifies tasks based on their level of urgency and importance. The risk analysis tab breaks out the probability, severity, and level of risk across each task. The charts visualize both the individual risks that are the most likely to cause problems in the bar chart and the overall level of risk for this project with the pie charts. 
Each risk is labeled according to the task ID associated with each task on the task list. To define these risks, enter their details in the risk description column so team members know what's most at stake with each task. Analysis is power, and this tab is meant to forecast bottlenecks so you can be preemptive in your prescriptive actions to avoid bottlenecks, scope creep, or even worse outcomes before they occur. To visualize the project management timeline in real time, we've provided both Kanban and Agile views. The Kanban board uses a stage system that color codes cards based on their priority level and includes a progress bar that shows how far along each task is. A work in progress limit at the top prohibits any particular stage from getting too overloaded. If a specific stage exceeds the limit to the number of tasks allowed in that stage, the excess tasks are added to that stage's respective queue column. Items in the queue are then loaded back into the stage when other tasks are completed. While Kanban does work with the Agile Management Framework, the Agile tab provides a simple Gantt chart visualization to display tasks by their sprints. The sprints are defined on the task list and appear first by numerical order and then alphabetical order. With all of these project management tools, you'll have everything you need to finish any project on time, every time. Remember, you can download and customize this project plan spreadsheet right now to save time and hours of work. Now, if you want more project management tools to present your project-related insights with internal or external stakeholders, go check out our project plan presentation template explainer right now. Thank you so much for watching.